Leaders of Germany's biggest opposition party, the Social Democrats, said on Friday they'd receive the resignation of their failed candidate for Chancellor, Herr Steinbrück. His gaffe-filled campaign was seen by many as a big cause of the party's poor performance. Now party officials will consult with members to decide if and how their party will join Angela Merkel in a governing coalition, even if two-thirds of members are opposed. Our goal is not to be part of a government, nor are we afraid to be opposition. We will enter these talks confidently. Our goals are to implement the values of social democratic policies. The victory of Angela Merkel's Christian Democratic Union on Sunday was its biggest since reunification. So big, at first the press suggested she could treat possible coalition partners like the contents of her handbag. But then the media saw a fairy tale Princess Merkel as having to kiss a frog, either Social Democratic Red or Green Party Green, to return to power. Going red with the bigger Social Democrats is what most Germans would like Merkel to do. A big problem for the Social Democrats and their plans for the future is their past. They've already served as junior coalition partners in an Angela Merkel led coalition during the global economic crisis ending in 2009. Their politicians put forward a lot of the ideas that helped the German economy bounce back, but Merkel seemed to get all the credit. It's a memory that still weighs heavily on the Social Democrats. Uh, they are afraid if they leave a mark again, if they do uh, successful interventions and policy uh, initiatives which might even be taken up by the government at large, the, the benefits and the public applause will all go to Mrs. Merkel. The Social Democrats want a slight change in European policy, so bailout countries are treated more leniently. The Greens are still trying to decide what they want, and Merkel could play both sides off each other in a coalition process that might last weeks. Nick Spicer, Al Jazeera, Berlin.